the peroneae muscle group. The peroneae muscle group lies on the outside of the lower leg. It is composed of three muscles, the peroneus longus, the peroneus brevis, and the peroneus tertius. This muscle group functions to control the orientation of the foot and ankle bones during weight bearing and walking. Let's take a look at the landmarks for the peroneus longus. We have the tibia, the fibula, and the calcaneus. The peroneus longus originates on the fibular head and the upper part of the fibula. And it inserts via a tendon that wraps under the sole of the foot and attaches to the first metatarsal bone. Contraction of the peroneus longus produces eversion of the foot at the ankle. The other peroneal muscles and the toe extensors are synergistic during this motion. The tibialis anterior and the tibialis posterior are antagonistic during this motion. Now we'll take a look at the peroneus brevis landmarks. We have the tibia, the fibula, and the calcaneus, and in addition we have the lateral malleolus. The peroneus brevis originates on the lower fibula and is deep to the peroneus longus muscle. And it inserts on the fifth metatarsal bone. Contraction of the peroneus brevis produces eversion of the foot at the ankle. The other peroneal muscles and the toe extensors are synergistic and the tibialis anterior and tibialis posterior are antagonistic. And now we take a look at the peroneus tertius landmarks. Again, you'll see the tibia, the fibula, and the calcaneus. The peroneus tertius originates on the anterior aspect of the lower part of the fibula and inserts on the fifth metatarsal bone. Contraction of the peroneus tertius produces again eversion of the foot at the ankle. And once again, the synergistic muscles for the peroneus tertius are the other peroneal muscles and the toe extensors. And the antagonistic muscles are the tibialis anterior and tibialis posterior. Here are some symptoms that are commonly associated with peroneal trigger points. Dr. Travell refers to the peroneal muscles as the weak ankle muscles. Clients will typically complain of pain on the lateral malleolus and the ankle. Foot drop is also possible due to the entrapment of the deep peroneal nerve. Some factors that may activate or perpetuate trigger points in the peroneal group include twisting or inversion of the ankle, prolonged immobilization by a cast, walking or running on uneven ground, sleeping with the foot plantar flexed or the toes pointed, wearing high heels, a tight sock or garter, and flat feet or unsupported arches. The referred pain from the gluteus minimus trigger points commonly activate peroneal trigger points. And trigger points in the tibialis anterior, tibialis posterior, gastrocnemius, and soleus are functionally related to the trigger points in the peroneal muscles. Some common misdiagnosis for active peroneal trigger points include ankle sprain and lateral compartment syndrome.